Hi everyone, this is Absar Ali and welcome back. And in this tutorial, we'll be learning about configuration file, and which is being generated in the last video tutorial. So let's see what this configuration file is contained and what are the significance of this config file. So the first thing you can see the runner equal to local that we set during our uh, command line, right? So we choose local. So that means it will run on your local machine. Uh, if you choose something uh, that cross browser or browser stack or some other Selenium grid, if you have your own Selenium grid as well, you can provide that. So for that, you need to specify hub and its port and its path. So this thing, you can get it from uh, WebDriver IO official documentation over here. If you go to test runner section here, test runner configuration, if you click on that, you'll see uh, this is the host name. If it is um, some, uh, the IP address uh, you can provide over here. If it is a local host, it's fine. Um, locally, if you have ran your Selenium standalone as a, a grid and hub, then you can provide that as well or maybe some somewhere if your grid is running, then it's IP address you can provide over here, then port and path as well. And if you are using some cross browser or browser stack, then you can provide its uh, username and its uh, key, right? These are things you need to provide. Now coming to the second one is the specs. So this is the spec where we need to include your test step definition files present if you are using the Cucumber framework. So what you need to do is here, you need to provide the feature files, your dot features, star dot features. I'll do it in coming videos. Okay, so feature file will be provided over here. And exclude, if you want to exclude something, if you don't want to run those particular JavaScript files, then, or any file, you just have to ex uh, mention over here that will be excluded. Then coming to capabilities. So the capability is here, there is one property called maximum instances. So what it will do is it will create maximum number of instance of that particular browser. Suppose I have provided Chrome browser and so that browser maximum uh, parallel execution can happen of 10 times. That means um, same time a 10 browser can pop up. Okay, you can limit at uh, two, three, five, whatever. So for the timing, let me, where is a three maximum instances that will, that means if you have multiple feature files, also if you run it, it will pop up only three Chrome browsers. If you have Firefox or any other browser, IE browser, then it will also pop up like three, three, three. So if I have three browsers, separate browsers, then it will open nine instances of three, instance of each browser, that would be nine, okay? So like that. Then capabilities, whatever capabilities you can provide for the browser, like browser name and other in informations also you can provide within that capabilities, right? So browser size, etc. whichever you get it from your cross browser or browser stack, you will getting you'll be getting some information about the capabilities, right? So those information you can provide over here or proxies, etc. you can provide there. So, yep. And if you want to exclude driver logs like Chrome drivers log, right? If you want to exclude, then you can provide uh, this and exclude driver logs, bug reports, whatever you, if you want to exclude it, don't want to log those, then you can provide that. 
then coming to test configurations this is a log level so there are different types of log levels trace debug info and warn error and silent so if it's if it is a silent then it will not log anything while you run your feature file or in your test so during that there will be no logs and if you provide error so it will only error uh, logs will be uh, in your console if it's info so info type um, logs will be um, available over here and the debug if you provide the debug then everything i think this all error warn info will be coming under the debug and trace means you will get everything okay so for the timing i have provided log level as info so let's keep it as info then coming to the log levels there are a lot of things that you can uh, tweak if you want really yep and the bail is zero it it is something if you only want to run your test until a certain specific amount of test got failed you can provide over here so by default it's a zero it don't build means it, it will run all fine so base url so yeah here the url you can mention of your browsers which base url you want to use or you can provide it from the command line as well we'll see how we can provide the com from command line later on but yeah for the time being let it be as localhost and wait for timeout so it's self-explanatory uh, connection retry these are things and here the framework the framework we are using is cucumber all right i'll be using cucumber and the services over here you can see this is also more important the services you can provide selenium standalone there are different different services you have to provide over here so for the timing it's okay we we are good if there is no services and then uh, mocha option we don't need mocha option we need uh, cucumber right so because i have mentioned over here we will be using cucumber project cucumber framework so i'll be adding some uh, information re related to cucumber so let me remove this and i'll add something this okay so see here cucumber options here you need to provide your step definition file all right all right step definition step definition will come under here and there are some information related to cucumber uh, framework like backtrace true compiler which compiler you want uh, this is important babel core re register we need to do then dry run uh, is called false that means in work for matters without executing steps right then fail first ignore undefined definition if you are new to cucumber then i would recommend you to go and uh, learn some basic about cucumber that would be enough for this tutorial just a basic part how this thing works right then you need to this tag expression this is also important if you do not want to uh, include some specific feature or scenario then you can just tag that scenario there and you just write not include that uh, tag so that's it so that will ignore that scenario then coming to here hooks right so before each function uh, before test execution after test execution if i wanted to do some particular specific thing then this is the right place hooks right so in here you can get the information browser related information you can get 
um, before starting your session, before session, right? And after session, something from config file capabilities, specs. So you can get a lot more information in this block we'll be using later on. And before we'll execute, before everything starts, right? So this is, uh, here you can get the capability and specs. Similarly, we have before suit, uh, before test, and after hook, before hook, something like that. So the, the, those things are very important if you are uh, running in the framework level and the later on when the framework becomes more complex, then we'll use uh, many of uh, these hooks to uh, reuse some component. Okay. We'll see later on okay so let's go and run this particular configuration file let's see what happens if i run uh, this config file okay how to run it uh, you need to provide from node modules this is my node module then dot bin within that bin the runner file is present right this wdio is a runner so just provide the path till WDIO, then provide your configuration file. Uh, uh, my configuration file is wdio.conf.js. Okay, so if I try to run it, so let's see what happens. Oh, there is some error. Let's see what happened. Okay, so it says default timeout interval is not defined. It's because I just copied and pasted over here uh, this information. You can see, uh, one second. Here you can see default timeout interval is a variable, but it's not uh, being defined anywhere. That's why this error saying just define somewhere, or maybe I'll just remove and hard code this value. Let's see, let's run it. What happens? So if I run it, let's see. Okay, so that means it's running. The tests are running, but uh, it says test suits zero passed, zero total, zero completed, zero percent completed because we have not written any test yet. We have just set up everything now. It's saying it's looking for this one. Test spec.js did not match any file because we haven't created any file over here. Okay, so that's why once we create this uh, step definition or feature files, then it should work as expected. Okay, in the next uh, session, we'll be creating some uh, step definition and feature file to run specific uh, scenario then we'll try to run it it should pass okay so okay thank you